It is Friday, September 16th of 2022. And uh, it's going to be a fun weekend for me today on Guy's Daily Drive. Bam! Welcome everyone to Guy's Daily Drive. I am not sure how long this drive is going to take me today because oh, everything is everything is broken. Everything is broken this morning. I don't know what's going on. And some of it is my fault. I I have to admit that uh, a good portion of it is my own fault because I got wrapped up in doing computer stuff this morning and by the time I got all that done it was it was after seven which is not a good time for me to go up and start getting ready for work but I did manage to get out the door showered shaved and all that other happy stuff about uh, quarter to eight which then of course meant that the kids were walking to school and the parents aren't paying too much attention to where the kids are on the road as they walk them to school. You'd think they would be more careful, but a lot of times they just aren't. So that is, that's the way that goes sometimes. And then I get out to, not the main drag, because I'm on the main drag, but the road that's before the main drag, and there's a broken school bus. And I was kind of like, well, what's going on? And I didn't even realize the school bus was broken because I, I couldn't see the the taillights that were flashing. Oh, what is this jerk doing? More stupidity on the roads. So, since I, I wasn't really quite sure what was going on until I got up behind the school bus, school bus is broken down. I couldn't tell if there were any kids on board. But I get up to the light that uh, where I make my turn onto the main drag and the police have the opposite lane blocked coming off the main drag and also from the left hand turn lane and the um, just the, the little access road where you would make a right to get on that road both blocked off and I'm not sure why would they do that because of a broken down school bus I don't know but it wasn't anything else that I could see there didn't seem to be any other police activity where I made my turn it's hard to say you know I mean the, the, the rules of engagement for police activity and I'm not talking about you know they get a call and you know they're coming in sirens screaming and all that just sorry I didn't mean to pause there I was just aghast at yet another ridiculously stupid thing that, uh, that somebody did right in front of me of course I'm in a Kia Soul so you know Obviously, I'm not a cop, so they're not going to give a damn what they do. <sighs> but it was just—it was just weird that it was that it was like that. It, it, it's never seen anything like that. And what the police do in situations where you have a broken down school bus, or there's a light out, or you know, I mean, ten thousand little things that the police have to respond to outside of, you know, someone is doing something that is blatantly illegal. I don't know what those procedures all are. But uh, that is, that is kind of the way things are going for me this morning. Just lots of weirdness. Whether it's traffic weirdness or just 
people doing dumb things weirdness or me doing weird things because I, I didn't get going as, as quickly as I should have. It's just looking to be a weird kind of day. And the weekend O is looking fun. I'm going to be doing the My Mac podcast with Gaz tomorrow. And uh, I didn't get out nearly as many My Mac mini bits as I wanted to from last week's show. Maybe I'll see if I can work on some of that tonight. But I got to get the show notes done for tomorrow. Um, get other stuff posted. I posted the um, the Guy's Daily Drive that I did Excuse me. on Wednesday. That's up now, so you can. Well, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm sure you already you already know that. Um, but there's there's just a lot of little things, and I've got to do them all tomorrow, because Sunday, Sunday, is the day that I'm going to the Dolphins Ravens football game that I talked about on Wednesday, and I'm really really looking forward to that. I'm I'm really excited about that. I'm always very very grateful to. Uh, my neighbor Peter when he includes me on those tickets and he actually has tickets for their game Christmas Eve that he asked if if I wanted or if I knew anybody that would, that would want and that's not a general offer to contact me and say oh I want those Ravens Christmas Eve tickets because I'm not going to be the go-between between uh Peter and, and any potential audience members that would be interested. Just, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you know, I love you all, but I can't vouch for you. And that's just how that works. All right, let's make some time. So that's that's really all that's going on. I'm, I'm hoping to get a haircut today. Isn't that exciting news? Uh, you know, for so long I had... My hair was, was really, really super long. Uh, I didn't get it cut during, I, and it was already kind of long before the pandemic, but I didn't get it cut during the entire pandemic. So it was, it was probably the longest that I'd had it since I was a teenager. And boy, I had some different kinds of hairstyles back then. But that was that was fun. As a matter of fact, as we were as we got started with today's guy, guys daily drive, last week was a dear friend of mine from South Florida, Sandra. Had, she had her birthday, and so I was when I saw that, that she was on, I was kind of wishing her a, that I'd hope she'd had a happy happy day. And I still want to get down to Florida before the end of the year. I mean, just so many little trips that I want to do. And, and it's hard, it's it's hard finding the time. I'm gonna make this turn. And the, um, it's, it's not even really so much the expense of it. Because I mean, yeah, it's, it's not cheap to fly down to Florida for four or five days. But I, I currently have enough of a liquid backlog and the flights set, the flights themselves will, will be free because I have enough miles with uh, one of my credit cards to go to have a round trip ticket for free or, I mean, ri ridiculously low priced. Uh, and of course, depending on how much time I can take, I could drive it. But that adds that adds a lot of expense because then you, I mean, I would have a rental car anyway. But essentially, I would have to add four travel days to the rental car, and that gets that gets pricey. Rental cars are not cheap. And then the expense of, of driving down as compared to a free flight. So in the case of a free flight, as much as I hate to fly, 
despise it, uh, I would have to choose flying over driving. Especially since, you know, I mean, and if the tickets were two to three hundred bucks, say, to go to Florida and back, well, then the equation changes because that two to three hundred bucks could easily take care of the extra rental car and at least one night of uh, the two nights of hotels that I would need to drive down. Because I'm, you know, I mean, going, and a lot of that also depends on, on no, actually it doesn't. I'm going to, I'm going to take that back. I used to be able to go all the way to Melbourne, leaving like super early in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. I could drive all the way to Melbourne. I could drive all the way to Orlando. But honestly, those kinds of 12 to 14 hour trips, I, I, it's harder and harder to do that kind of thing. And I look for excuses to not do those kinds of trips, you know, where it's all the way down, getting up at four o'clock, you know, getting on the road at four o'clock in the morning. Um, and then being in the Daytona or Orlando area X number of hours later. It's hard. It, it, as you get older, especially by yourself, because Tracy's not going to want to, she's not going to want to go down to Florida. It's just not her thing. And forget about driving all the way to Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale from up here would be easily... 18 hours, not counting bathroom breaks and food stops and gas breaks and, and all the rest of that. And I definitely can't do that. I mean, I almost managed it one time when I was a lot younger. And uh, if I had tried to keep going, I would have wrecked the car. I was, I was dead to the world and fortunately had somebody else in the car that could that could finish the drive but I, there was no way i was going to be able to do it <sighs> so that's that's kind of what's what's going on i've got the football game i've got the trip to see ringo star next week on tuesday that's going to be fun and then trip to see uh, Gaffigan, our, our, our 30th anniversary trip that, that Tracy and I are taking next month, even though it's about a month and a half late from our actual anniversary. But okay, you know, you can't control when people tour. And uh, wow, that's, that's about it. So I think I'm going to start ending this because I'm, I'm getting close to work. It's time to time to wrap this whole thing up. Thank you. Thank you also very, very much for joining me today on Guy's Daily Drive. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to get a hold of me, the email address is guy at mymac.com or podcast at vertshark.com. Vertshark.com is the website that I haven't updated in a really long time. Shame on me, but life. Uh, Vert Shark on YouTube is the channel that you can see not only Guy's Daily Drive, but the MyMac.com video version of the MyMac.com podcast and the MyMac.com podcast mini bits, as well as whatever other video stuff that I do that I haven't done a whole lot of lately. But I I would like to do other stuff than, than just the, the two podcasts. Uh, over on the Twitters, I am Vert Shark and Mac Parrot. And I say all kinds of crazy things over there on Twitter and don't really care if you like it or not. <laughs> what else? What else is there? Guys, stay, of course, there's the audio version of the podcast that you can find over on Podbean. And with both the, um, the YouTube channel and the audio version of this, that you can find on iTunes. If you would like, share, subscribe, I would appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. That's all you got to do. Really, really would appreciate it if you could do that. 
if you would like to contribute and you don't have to i'm gonna keep doing this and i've proven that because no one contributes except for one guy and thank you one guy i don't want to say your name christopher <laughs> But thank you so very much. But if you would like to, you can go to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Mac Parrot. You can go to coffee, buy me a coffee, ko-fi.com forward slash Mac Parrot or pay a pal at paypal.me forward slash Mac Parrot. And uh, I think that's going to do it. So again, thank you for watching and or listening. To guys daily drive it is greatly greatly appreciated and i will see all of you next time right here come on there you go way to go <laughs> on guys daily drive bye-bye <laughs>